Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. If you've been following my channel, you know that I have this brand new 80 volt lithium ion bat, uh, mower from Ryobi. This mower has been absolutely insanely good. But one of my justifications for having this, and I've, I've cut another one that I had previously, is that I was spending $60 a week on mowing my grass. Now that's with my CS2210 Coyote tractor with a 60 inch deck on it. Um, diesel prices have went through the roof and I don't really see them coming down as much. So it was over $6 a gallon when I was using it and it just was burning through fuel like crazy. Now some people were saying that I'm not really saving any money even though the initial cost of this was higher. Um, but today we're gonna test that out. So I'm gonna turn this on so you can see it a little better. If you look right here, I turn the switch on, you look there, absolutely nothing. So I have ran, so I've ran the battery mower all the way down dead. It won't turn on, it won't do anything. Now right now I have two of these big battery packs right here, and that's what came with it. Those are 10 amp hour 80 volt batteries. And then right here I have two 12 amp hour 40 volt batteries. Now what I've done is I put a KW meter right here and I'm gonna plug the charger into it and we're gonna see what how much juice this actually takes to charge this mower to 100%. And I have the my bill from my electric company so I'm gonna be able to add up the cost per KW. And then you're gonna be able to see the true cost of how much this cost for one full charge. Now, I can mow my entire yard, which is like 3.5 acres um, that I get done with this. This is rated like three to four acres, somewhere around there. It's four acres if you use the full batteries, if you load it up, but I can get away with mowing it just fine. So, let's get into it. As this is charging, I forgot to mention, I do have a camera set up right here. So I will be able to verify the times that this started and stopped. And so that you all can actually see what I'm doing here too. So as we're charging, I just want to point out one thing real quick. If we take a closer look, you're going to see on the function, this is pulling 9.9. .9, so right around 10 amps. The power factor is 1. Now KW right now, it's at 30 or 0.0040. So we're gonna leave it on the KWH, but I just figured that was a pretty cool thing to actually see as it's charging. This is real-time information. All right, everybody, so it's been right around two hours, as you can see right here since I started this. And we started out pulling right around 10 amps. This is at 120 volts. Uh, right now at two hours, we're pulling five amps. And right now we've pulled 1.8 kilowatts. So I thought that was very interesting, and at two hours, we're at 86% charge. Also, check it out, at two hours of charge, going from zero, we're at 86%. We take a look, you can see that the 80 volt batteries, which are the middle ones right here, they're fully charged. Now we're charging the two smaller 12 amp hour batteries on the side. All right, everybody, so we are at the end of this now, so we finished charging. As you can see, I have 2.281 kilowatts is what it used. Now, as you can see on the camera right now, it finished at 11.40 p.m., which is right around 2 hours and 40 minutes. So we're able to charge this thing up completely as it is with the two 10-amp-hour uh, 80-volt batteries and then the two 12-amp-hour 40-volt batteries in less than three hours so that's pretty phenomenal right there so as you can see right here charge complete and how this worked is after it charged the 80 volt batteries it was doing at 10 amps at that point it went to i believe the 40 volts and at that time it dropped it down from 10 amps of charging to 5 amps of charging but like i said it's 2.21 kilowatt hours now 
my hourly rate right now is 22 cents per kilowatt. So that's roughly 50 cents it took me to charge this right here for one full charge. Now that will char that will cut my entire yard at just 50 cents. Now for me to cut my yard before with my tractor, like I said, I mean it was like 60 bucks just to cut it for one go and that's a lot of cutting. Now granted it was a diesel three cylinder 22 horsepower tractor with a 60 inch mowing deck on it so it's moving a lot of weight like more than double the weight but seriously I, I went from 60 bucks to just 50 cents and the KWH so I'll take that any day I'm saving a ton of money here um, and I'm going to be able to use this for a very long time it's quiet it's less vibration so I think at the end of the day the true cost of this is pretty phenomenal I mean it's still so much cheaper than gas as well so it's going to pay for itself the return on the investment is going to come back pretty quick I found that my payback is going to be roughly two and a half to three years depending on how much I actually use it um, and then how much I help people out with it as well so and then it will mow more if I get more batteries for it I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet but like I said the true cost of this is still fractions like very small fractions compared to gas and diesel it was so easy I don't have to go to the gas station so the efficiency and the maintenance cost of this is very very low I don't have to change the oil or anything else like that I'm just gonna make sure that the blades are sharpened and all that good stuff um, I don't have to oil anything it is just very easy maintenance package on this particular mower so I hope that you all enjoyed this. I'm proving that it really does make a difference and the price difference will show up in your wallet. The return on investment is there. It's real. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Leave me a comment. I always respond back to them and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.